what's up guys welcome back we're going to be solving another question in today's video and we have 2 to the x plus x is equal to 5 and we need to figure out the value of the x so we solved two questions in the previous videos in the channel that they were basically the use of the lambert doly function for solving these kind of questions and as opposed to previous two which we could guess the answer at the first place this one is challenging and we cannot guess the answers by just putting different numbers in here we can try a bunch like if we put zero we'll get two to the zero plus zero which will be one plus zero so one which is not equal to five x equals to zero doesn't work if we do for one two to the one plus one it will be three not equal to five x equal to two two to the 2 plus 2 this will be 6 again not equal to 5 and if we continue doing this we'll get to a point that okay this is not gonna work and this is where we start with the Lambert Dolly function and we need to figure this out so let's just have a quick review on Lambert Dolly function so whenever we have alpha times e to the alpha when we do the lambert double function this will be equal to alpha so that's basically the lambert double function but let's see how we can use this function in order to solve this question uh which doesn't seem actually very easy i mean one way to solve this one is just to do uh the graph of 2 to the x and see where it crosses the 5 minus x to figure out how many answers we have in here but again finding that is not something that we can guess or figure it out which means we need to go through this process we're going to keep the 2 to the x to the left side of the equation and we'll bring x to the other side of the equation which means we have to change the sign of x so from positive it will turn into negative x and in the next step we're going to divide each side of the equation by 2 to the x knowing that 2 to the x cannot be 0 so we'll have 2 to the x divided by 2 to the x is equal to 5 minus x divided by 2 to the x so these two will be cancelled out on the left side of the equation and from the laws of exponent we know when we have 1 over a to the b this will be equal to a to the minus b and basically in here our a is 2 and b is x so 1 will be equal to 5 minus x times 2 to the minus x so now we can see that we are getting close to our lambert function looking at this we'll see that uh, we can call this one alpha if you consider this one our alpha we see that the plus 5 is missing in here in order to make that alpha that we have in the back of the two to the minus x and from the laws of exponents when we have a to the power of m plus n this will be equal to a m times a to the n we have our n minus x and what we're missing in here is 5 so we have here 2 to the minus x so it seems that 2 to the 5 is missing in here so we're going to multiply this by 2 to the 5 on the left side we get 2 to the 5 is equal to 5 minus x times 2 to the minus x times 2 to the 5 and there we go we are getting closer and closer to our alpha that we were looking for and if we look at this this is coming from here so basically we have 2 to the 5 is equal to 5 minus x times 2 to the 5 minus x and we managed to build the alpha but hold on a second let's get back to the lambert function what we have in here we managed to create these but what we are missing in here is e but the problem is we have two in here and we're looking for e and this is a trick that we're going to get rid of these two in here we know e to the power of ln of a will be equal to a right so if we do e to the power of natural log of two this will be equal to two so there we go we can uh, replace that 2 with e to the power of ln of 2 so 2 to the 5 is equal to 5 minus x times instead of 2 again we're going to do e to the power of ln of 2 and we know this is to the power of 5 minus x 
and what we need in here is the a loss of exponent when we have a to the power of m to the power of n this will be equal to a to the power of m times n which is the scenario we have in here this is our n and this is our m so let's keep going again we have we have two to the five um as i mentioned in the previous videos it's good to uh, memorize the exponents of 2 from 1 to 10 and 2 to the 5 is one of them which is 32 so 5 minus x times e to the power of ln of 2 times 5 minus x and looking at this we'll see that this is messing with our alpha that we had this is our new alpha but ln of 2 is missing in here meaning if we just multiply this by a natural log of 2 will have 32 times natural log of 2 is equal to natural log of 2 times 5 minus x to the power of e to the power of ln of 2 times 5 minus x and there we go we managed to build our alpha for the Lambert double function and this is where we can use that function uh, to get rid of that long expression on the right side of the equation. So we have Lambert double function of 32 times ln of 2 and on the right side we have Lambert double function of ln 2 times 5 minus x times e to the power of ln 2 times 5 minus x and there we go this is our alpha this is our alpha so basically lambert double function of 32 times ln of 2 is equal to the alpha that we have in here which is basically ln 2 times 5 minus x so this is where it gets interesting and that's why we cannot guess the answer in this one because what we can do for the left side of the equation let's try to see if we can build something that we can get rid of uh, the w function on the left side of the equation and just use that alpha but if we do that we'll see that so basically we have 2 to the 5 in here times ln of 2 we can write instead of 2 e to the power of ln of 2 to the power of 5 times ln of 2 so this will be e to the power of a uh, lambda double function of ln of 2 times we're going to multiply these two e to the power of 5 times ln of 2 and that's the problem and that's where it all gets a little bit weird because we cannot build that 5 in the back of this ln 2 in order to have that 5 ln of 2 so it would have been much easier if it had that 5 in here but we cannot make that in here and all we're going to end up with is uh, we're going to keep the left side the way it is. So in this equation, if we divide the equation by ln of 2, we'll have Lambert double function of 32 ln of 2 divided by ln of 2 is equal to 5 minus x, meaning our x will be 5 minus this will be going on the right side of the equation. So negative sign lambert double function of 32 times ln of 2 over ln of 2 and if we calculate this we'll get something around 1.7 which will be the final answer and as we can see 1.7 is not something that we could guess at the first place and yeah that would be all for this one i'm gonna put the other two videos that we managed to uh, simplify this part of the equation using a uh, lambert double function uh, the video should be showing up now so feel free to check those two and yeah let me know if you have any questions or any other better solutions to solve this i'd be happy to discuss it with you guys you guys take care and i'll see you in the next video have a good one